What'd you do to Mama Z? I tell him like that. She don't like you? I don't like her. You don't like Mama Z? Why? She's so nice to you. She likes you. She's your auntie. Yeah. I'm you. Hmm. I'm Mumsy's cool, right? I'm not cool to me. Oh, girl. And you're not cool to me. He said you are not cool to him. Mm. So y'all ready? Yeah, Ross, go. How can you tell me to go? Russell. She can't go. You said Russell. A what? A vassal. What is that? Her said a vassal. That's not a bad word, right? Yeah, that is not. So what is it? Uh, her said an asshole. No, you can't <laughs> say that. It's a bad word? Yeah, that's a bad word. Can't say that. Okay. Don't say that, okay? That's that's a bad word. What do we do here? I'm not going to talk to you around you anymore. I don't know if I'm okay. I don't see the light of day. Looking up to higher your crown, thinking that'll be your sweet escape. These days got a schedule to romance. They say they love is a slow dance. A short bike ride to the crib, using no hands. Oh shit, it feel like I'm floating. But I'm falling with both eyes closed when I let the world spin. Testing the water, she got my nurse tense. Back when I ain't even have a purpose. I was so eager to learn some things. Anxiety bring out the worst to me. Society paint me as enemy. My niggas making it by that remedy. I'm more occasional, don't do it regularly. Back under my eyes, weighing down heavily. Mama been worried, the devil allegedly deep in the plan. Subconsciously wanted this since I was 10. I thought I was sharp on my scroll and my pen thinking. Bitch me folded, what? never that boy Can't leave the kill without the drugs and the cap boy no. If I wouldn't select, baby Yeah, that's on my back, boy Get ear to the max, boy Finny, that's a fact, boy I'm from a place where it's dark outside The late nights, you can't walk outside Bullets got the names on them Hit you when your homeboys ride As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why Uptown double H, man, it's be the five what? MP in the cut, what? yeah, we get it live Ay. Most just can't go to any hood, but it's connect shump could, baby shump hella good, baby. A Fab NPY used to be uh -huh. Pay Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, till I couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain bottle with a gin. Hey, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to tell my L's to 100 wins. 100 wins. Only time I'm gonna tell what it really what did. It did. I'm just trying to tell my L's to 100, 100 wins. wins. What's up guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? Today is Monday. It is half off Monday at Sabres. I should take my ass in here. Because <laughs> they did open up 10 minutes ago. I ain't got no business being in there, but they do open up at 9. But I ain't got no business being in there. Like, I, there's nothing that I need. So I don't even know why I'm going in here. Like, because there's nothing that I need. But I don't see no line, so I'm about to go outside and see what I can find. If they just opened up to 12 minutes ago, so I'm going to just, you know, take a quick sneak peek real quick and see what they got. I got no business being in here, but I just feel like I said, like I said, I have no business being in here, but there's no line. Normally, it'd be a line out the door, and everything is half off on Monday. So I just want to see what they got, especially because I, I never get to come on Mondays. And then when I do, it's like, God, by the time I get inside, everything is gone. So here I am. They say I wasn't going to buy nothing, but I did find something really, really cute. And it's only $2 because it's half off. All right, so... What do you think about this? It's $4 and it's brand spanking new. It was brand new. It was never hung on the wall. So it was $4. It's priced at four and it's half off. Family rules help each other. I've always wanted one of these. So $2, you cannot beat that. I'm not saying I'm about to be up in here and buying a whole bunch of junk, but I just wanted to see what they had since wasn't nobody on the line.
I think he would like it. You know, he loves cars, so I thought that would be cute. up getting the coffee table I ended up getting a coffee table and a um, end table to go with it the coffee table was I think I showed you was $40 so it's half off of that and then the end table was 30 so half off of that and a couple of little tiny scratches on the coffee table but it looks brand spanking new they both do so I ended up um, buying those and um, they have to take the legs off of the coffee table because it's not gonna fit past the door in my car. But while I was there, I did meet someone from my channel who was who subscribed to me. I thought she was trying to get the coffee table from me at first, for real I did. But um, she wasn't, so, you know. <laughs> we were standing around talking, took a couple pictures and stuff. People was looking at me like I was crazy. And then I did say I wasn't gonna buy nothing. But I couldn't pass that up because I needed a new coffee table for like years. But I just kept putting it off because furniture ain't cheap. And I, just, I felt like, you know what, I'm just going to keep fixing the leg, keep fixing the leg. But then when I seen that, I was like, I'm not fixing anything. I'm just going to buy it. So I spent $35 for a whole nice set. So when I get home, I'll definitely let you guys see and show you what it looks like. Oh, I had to come back to get the coffee table part. But he actually accidentally broke the leg off of the piece of the wood. Um... It's an easy fix. I can definitely easily fix it, but that wasn't the whole point because my other table was kind of somewhat like that, but it wasn't fixable. This one is definitely fixable, so I'm just going to fix it. They gave me $15 back from it, so I only paid five for this, so I'm cool. $20 for the whole set. I'm going to just take it home and fix it. You know, I got I had to bring my tool bag, too, so they could, we could take the legs off because he was trying to put it in the car, and it wouldn't go, so that's how the leg broke off. So I brought my tool bag back. Luckily, I live like three minutes away. I don't need to be looking for nothing else because I wasn't supposed to be here anyway. But $20 is not bad for for the table. I mean, for the whole set. And I'm kind of glad that I did come in here today. But then I wish the table wouldn't have been broken like the leg. But a girl, look, I'm Handy Muff, okay? Handy Muff. That's what they be calling me in my house. They call me Muff the Builder or Handy Muff. So I'm going to get this working. And where it's broken at is definitely an easy fix. So I got this. And I will definitely show you guys what it looks like set up in my living room. But in my one living room, my living room by the kitchen is the one that I bought it for. Because in my other living room, the formal living room, everything is new in there. But I did really want to purchase a new living room room set for my den I think it's called a den it's called a den family room I, I wanted to purchase a new living room set for that but I'm still looking so so you see I got potato princess back there we are going to therapy she have an appointment so she got her little toys hanging up on her car seat thanks to the ladies and gents for the gifts on her shower because that's where the noise is coming from and i think she somewhat likes it I don't, i'm not really sure you know today they want to see if she starts to grab for toys you know because they want to see her motor skills still so she is really supposed to be like grabbing for toys at this age but sometimes it just seems like she's not really interested so i'm not really sure you guys but today is my daughter tati's birthday she turned 26, okay? They, you know what's so crazy? When they get that age, um, like 26, they they feel like they old. You know what I'm saying? Like, she feel old. Like, my son, he like, please don't remind me I'm about to be 30. Like, y'all act like that's, like, really a bad age. Like, it's really an old age. That's the part that be getting me. Even with the younger crowd, like, you know, you see these girls or these women on YouTube or Instagram or any type of social media platform, they always trying to call out women that are in, like, their 40s and stuff, like, oh, you're old ass, or, girl, you would hope to get to my old ass age. 
40s, you're, when you're in your 40s, you're definitely not old. Like, I'm not really understanding where people get that misconception, like, 40 is old. Like, so you don't think you're ever going to be here in, like, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years? Like, you're still a kid. Be happy that you made it that far. Hope and pray to God that you make it to your 40s because all of the nonsense that they be doing these days, you know what I'm saying? You be amazed. It, it like, okay, did you really make it to that age? And I wish nothing but the best for all the young people. But it just be so ridiculous how they try to call out women in their 40s. They call us old. So, like, what the hell is 70, 60? Is that, like, ancient? I'm trying to figure that out. This is a younger generation. And it some of them seem like they don't have much respect anyway for not only just other people but for themselves. And I ain't even going to get on to that. But I'm going to just say this. My heart be so heavy at the way that I see them carrying on, especially our own people, with the carjacking, shooting each other, murders, robbing, de degrading other people. Like, it's just sad. And it's also very pathetic. And it's heartbreaking to see, like, you know what I'm saying? We've come so far. We have come so far. And we know we have. Like, you know what I'm saying? You might not have been there during those time frames of being a slave or having a fight for your civil rights and all that. But we've come so far. And for to see, like, the young generation of our own people, like, tearing it down with their actions, it's just so disheartening. It really, really is. And I know I probably sound old saying that, but it's just the truth. It's facts. You know what I'm saying? So last night I bought this stuff off of Amazon. Um, It's the detox-like pills. And I, have, I read the reviews of everything because I hate to waste my money on something that's not going to work, girl. And the reviews that people was writing, I'm like, I, now I'm scared. Like, I don't know if I want to take this because God forbid I'll be out in public and I best to put on one of the potatoes diapers. OK, like I know that's a TMI moment, but I best to, if I got to look when I got to take the kids to school, I best to put on one of the potatoes diapers because I damn sure don't want to have no accident on myself looking like a whole mess. OK, but the reviews on it was like, girl, you are you prepared for this? Are you ready? And I've been wanting to try a detox for so long. Like I did try this one and it had like some good reviews. I read the reviews. I, I watched the reviews on YouTube. Girl, please. I didn't even go to the bathroom. I didn't go to the bathroom. I said, am I doing something wrong? Why am I not going to the bathroom? I did not even go to the bathroom. Okay. Did not go to the bathroom. Anyway, so yeah, like I'm hoping it works because, you know, it is good to have a colon cleanse and I'm pretty sure that it will help with my bloated stomach. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm Listen, I'm praying that it does because if I go through all of this and use the bathroom, like how people are saying they use the bathroom, my stomach better look like washboard abs, okay, by the time I finish. So we are here at Team for Kids for Princess Potato. Hi. Hi, Potato. He does only with okay. He's been doing, he's been stuck on eggs for a while. Okay. It, like, it doesn't really mean anything. Like, I'm not trying to really say mama. It's just. Um, I'm also gonna have another Ochi. Just awesome. come and look. She's, Hi. So, she's so little and everything. I just kind of wanted. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wrote down some notes, but I'm sorry. you probably looked over it. Too. Hi. You like that? Yeah. She looks like she's trying to get to it. Do it out. What is that thing? The belly crawl? Is it called the belly crawl? Yes, the army crawl. That's what it is. Yes.
they're so nice there. You know, they have children there for all type of like behavior, not really behavioral, but like motor skills, children that might be delayed or might be like, you know, born under certain circumstances. They have them there. So, but they're very patient. They have so much going on in there for the children, which is really nice. Like, I don't remember anything like this in New York, but therefore I didn't need it for my kids. So, you know, this is really good that, you know, they provide her with these services so that way she can get like her motor skills up. But they said she's doing really good. You know, times have changed. You know, when my kids was babies, they didn't have all of this stuff. They didn't have none of that. You just had to deal with it. And you would basically find out later on down the road if something was like, you know, physically wrong with your kids or mentally wrong with your kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's nice how you see things evolve and it benefits not just the children but the, the 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 family try to be very supportive to my kids to my family so like i was saying today is her mother's birthday and i just want her to have like a better positive outlook on things you don't have to let them learn on their own and you can't keep being ungrown okay that's what i call it ungrown you can't keep being ungrown and if you want to keep being ungrown that's fine too but please don't do that shit around me eventually hopefully in time you will grow up and you will see what the f we are I mean. here at the daycare we here and we're gonna go inside i brought her some diapers and some milk and wipes all right guys so time to go i'm gonna give my dunkin donuts iced coffee and then head home um it is now 9 26 you know what oh, i gotta get some paperwork out for nay but i really want to go to the gym today but it is 9 26 like that is not an excuse it's definitely not an excuse okay but i have other things that i have to do too and that's what i'll be trying to get the people at the gym to understand like the one girl who always be there or my friend that be there like y'all you guys don't have no small kids so it's not like and the one girl she do have small kids but i'm not about to bring my grandkids and put them in the daycare at the gym like i'm not doing that friday my friend she called me she asked me was i going to the gym and i said i couldn't you know i'm not going because i have to take my grandson to his hair appointment and then also i have a therapy appointment after that and i had to do something else so she was like oh well you should just you um you should just you're not gonna come you should still come and i said no, because I don't, I don't come that late in the day. I, I normally come early and I have appointments. She's like, well, what are you doing afterward? I said, I'm going to be going home. Well, you should just come. I said, I have my grandson. She said, there's nobody home to watch him. And I'm like, no, because, it, but it wasn't. Like, Mumsy was there, but it's not Mumsy's responsibility to watch him. Okay. If, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not her responsibility. So she was like, well, why don't you just bring him? She said, just bring him to the daycare at the, um, the gym. And I'm like, I'm not bringing him to that. And she's like, why? He'll like it. I was like, you don't know if he'll like that or not. I'm not bringing him to that. No, I'm not, not going to bring him to that. That's not, there's nothing wrong with it, I guess. I've never stepped inside of the daycare at the gym because I have no need to. Like, I don't, I don't feel like I need to. If I can't have my grandkids at home or, I, listen, I do shit when it's convenient to me. And I don't understand why people don't get that with me. Like, just because you working out does not mean I need to be there with you. I don't need a workout buddy, nor do I want a workout buddy. That's that's me in a nutshell. I don't want to work out with anyone, okay? Because when it's time for me to take my black behind and get back in the car and go home, that's what I'm doing. I'm not about to stand here with you and watch you do your sets and then decide it's time to leave. No, sweetheart. And on top of that, I got things to do. My life don't revolve around this gym and being at the gym every single day, okay? Or how about being there four or five hours? The one girl, she constantly like, oh, I didn't see you. You didn't? Because I didn't see you neither, okay? And I'm like, oh, yeah? Oh, that's too bad. And that's my attitude now. And I don't like being like that to people, but, like, what part don't you get? You got your kids up in that daycare all day long. That's, this one girl be there five days a week. She be there before I get there and still be there after I leave. She be there for like four hours. And her kids is like two and three. There's no way that I'm going to have my two and three-year-old in the daycare room for four hours every day while I work out. Girl, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay? And that just shows me that you don't have really much to do with your life. And then not even that. I shouldn't even say that because I don't know about her schedule. But, girl, I got errands to run and I got important stuff that need to get done. And walking on this treadmill all day and sweating until I stink is not one of them, okay? It's definitely not. And I don't understand why she don't get that. And on top of that, like, my friend, she's like, oh, come on, you should just go. Like, girl, we don't even hardly see each other at the gym like that. This is the part that I don't realize. I don't understand with her. You see me at the gym once in a blue moon. We don't be there at the same times, okay? You come and then you leave. We don't be at the gym the same time. So why the heck you want to work out with me all of a sudden? I don't understand that. I don't understand why people don't understand me 
as a person. I know Cameron. I know Tiki real well. No, he won't. He won't be in no room with no little little kids. He's seven years old. That's Dr. Tinky, okay? Dentist Tinky, who done took out another one of his damn teeth, all right, up in the front a few days ago. He made my job as being a grandmother easy because I take out a tooth with no problem. He's been taking them out on his own. He just wants some money from the tooth fairy, okay? He dentist Tinky, he be he be working on his own teeth, talking about do I need a tooth removed? No, no, I don't need any of my tooth removed because for one, Tinky, um, if you remove it, I ain't gonna have one. They don't grow back like yours, unfortunately. It's unfortunate, but they don't. I keep trying to explain it to him that I gotta pay for my teeth. I gotta buy them. Okay, once they come out twice, they ain't coming back no more. You know what I'm saying? The grandkids will have you like, you know what? I never imagined myself with five grandkids. Okay, like straight up, I never imagined myself with five grandkids. And they be saying like the craziest stuff, or they do. They say like the craziest stuff. Him and JJ and Tinky say like the craziest stuff. Um, little Julian, who's three, he will talk my ears off to death. Whenever I come and I pull up and my car just washed, he'd be like, my mom. First of all, he give me the best like greeting ever like when he see me like you would you would be you would think that i was beyonce when he be seeing me like straight up when he see me he give me the best greeting ever mama and he runs to me put his arms up like none of the grandkids do that but him that's the best greeting ever that's what i'll be looking forward to when i see him i just try to build good memories with my grandkids so that way they they remember me when i'm no longer here on this earth you know they kids you gotta let kids be a kid you know, and I remember things like that with my mother. So I tried to instill that and let them have the best memories too. Good morning. Good morning. What's today? Friday. What else is today? Okay, ice cream Friday. So we're going to a different place today. Menchie's we're going and Mumsy is coming along. Last night I went to hang out with my friend Tina. You know, my best friend Tina. I had to go off on her and leave. I had to go off on her and leave because she was so intoxicated we was at her house and i got there she was like that so and we had already spoke to each other for like 57 minutes it was exactly 57 minutes on the phone and i knew she was under the influence and she had wanted to come over my house but i wasn't about to let her come outside like that so i told her i would come over and she lived right in the same you know the subdivision i had to leave after like i was probably there for like two hours i had to leave um she was just too intoxicated for me and it just was starting to get a little bit out of control and stuff. So I just was like, okay, you know, I had to, I had to tell her the STFU and I said it in, no, in that way, you know, I said it in that way. I said the letters. So she knew what the hell I was talking about, but she just kept going and it, it's not even worth explaining because that's my friend, <laughs> but girl, white girl wasted being disrespectful not even really somewhat semi-disrespectful to me like i'm not really about the games and i don't really care you don't disrespect me and talk to me any type of way and i already warned her so i, I left i just left and before i had i told her i said you know what i'm about to leave before i punch you in your in your head i'm about to leave and i didn't say head i, I said and yet you know s word but i have to leave i will say white girl wasted we was in the backyard the whole time. Just please tell me why she was ready to take a pee in the backyard. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> She's like, I'm about to just um, go to the bathroom here. I said, look, B, take your behind in the house and stop being white trash and take your behind in the house and use the bathroom and have some class. Take your ass in the house. That's what I had to tell her. And her ex-husband, you know, she, they live together, her and her ex-husband. He just was laughing. And he was like, I told her this before. Why would I want her to go to the bathroom in my backyard? She was like, I was on a drip dry. I was like, that's nasty. You can go to the bathroom and have a whole roll of toilet paper. You want to be out in the backyard like we in the jungle lost somewhere to drip dry. So your panties to smell like urine. I said, you're, you're ridiculous. I said, take your ass to the bathroom. It's like a few yards away. You want to go in the backyard. I don't want to see your stuff. That was the beginning. And after that, she just was mouthy and I couldn't take it. How was school? It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Learn anything new? Um, no. Oh, okay. That always matters. I kind of just did the same work from Thursday. Did you? Yeah. Hi, guys. Tell them why you don't want to do any more Dollar Tree videos with me. What? People have been asking, so I'm going to put you on a spot right now. Because Dollar Tree is boring. They have no new stuff. There's nothing new no more. 
we do go get plastic forks from there, but we don't use them. It's for the for my son and my daughter's lunch. So, cause I'm not about to give my son, who don't live with me, my silverware. Cause I'm gonna buy ice that. cream now. And look, I don't even have to bring those sprinkles, cause everything's there for you guys. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Mumsy, what Mumsy got to say nothing. No sprinkles, anyways. They got all kind of stuff. They got candy. Remember I told y'all. I want to taste jelly. Who would do that? Gummy bears and stuff. Oh, no. oh. yeah, no. Oh, That's it no. It tastes good. It tastes good. It all depends on the ice cream, I think, though, too. I don't know about how it would taste in like chocolate ice cream. Are you getting chocolate ice cream, JJ? Yeah. Come on, man. It's like mad different stuff, and you get to fix it yourself. You are my world in every place. It's the things I you do. And it's the sign on your face And as time goes by I know, I know I'm in a better place I'm in a better place Without your love, I am out of place And without you, I am just a trace I love Can you please make sure mommy doesn't forget my kids? Because I answer the oh. text box. That's why. This is what I got, you guys. Vanilla and chocolate swirl and some chocolate sprinkles. Not, nothing too crazy. And some, um, what is it? Oatmeal? Oatmeal, I think. Is that what it is? What did you get? The same? No, I got vanilla ice cream with Reese's mm. and peanuts and white chocolate. Mmm. Oh, good. How's it going back there? Bustle, bustle. The pot, the pineapples all taste garbage. Okay, it's good in there mm -hmm. with the pineapples. Isn't it funny? We came to that. I thought I won you over, but you were holding back. This can I be trying to find another way. Yeah, I think my head always knew it, but I didn't tell my heart. Let go, I couldn't do it without falling apart. So give me something, give me something. Be. This 
like the way you're staring into the camera. Come on, man. Can you like the ring light is like? I need don't that. do that. <laughs> No, no photography, ma'am. What? No photography. Every time you always talk about don't record me, don't record me, get my braids out. Don't record I don't me. Want, doing this. Well, uh, the braids is a different story. Don't be smart, my video. Don't be fresh. Don't be stupid in it. Don't be fresh. Hello. Ma'am. <laughs> this is a professional place. Really? With an <laughs> Easter basket behind you, the clothes rack, oh. one of the blinds is broken. Oh, well, okay. well, all right. Yeah. Hey, You're hey, a baby hey. Ear. And I, right. Excuse I am. Me. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Some yeah, I don't like the way she holding your head. This don't seem too professional. Hey, my man, you said about my establishment. Oh, shoot. You're both, you're, <laughs> I'm going to be nice in front of Nate's friend, but what I wasn't oh was looking establishment <laughs> looked like my goddamn kitchen, but okay. You are so close. I am, I know. I think, gonna I tell think you me got I know me in that. the view, though. Say that again? I think you got me in the view. <laughs> Look at the view. I use my pomade that I like. Excuse you. Don't do that in my video. <laughs> what does she do? She's making rap faces. Don't I had always knew it, but I didn't tell my heart. Let go, I couldn't do it without falling. Well, I don't see her. Where's she at? Oh, you look cute. You made that? That's really nice. Like, how long does it take you to make it? <laughs> nice. Wow. You guys look so cute. Wow. Look at that. Well, I want to see your glow in the dark face. Are you going to glow? Oh, look at the glow in the dark scrunchies, Nay. She's got her in her sleeves, too. Yeah. Oh. Nice. You guys are going to kill them. You guys look so cute. Oh, I gotta take a picture. They are going to their first rave. Cool. Oh, you guys look so cool. They look super cute going to the rave, okay? They look super, super cute. So I pray that they be safe and have a good time and don't do nothing I wouldn't do. It's time to relax. It's like almost nine o'clock. I'll be in the bed by nine sometimes. Old lady vibes, okay? Um. I got me a healthy ass meal to eat, <sighs> but I done took my shower, honey. And my daughter, Nay, is off to her first wave with her friend. Well, let me just put on my bonnet real quick. Okay, so now we really ready for bed. Okay, we, we really ready for bed. If y'all want to see what I'm eating, hold on. Grilled chicken by my daughter, Tati, who made me it. And trust me, this is the third day in a row that I've had it. And it is so good. And some raw vegetables. Guys, on that note, y'all already know what time it is. I got to go lay down. Mm, I'm about to enjoy my meal. I've been trying not to eat so late, but at least it's nothing like junk food or anything like that. I got me some water. Oh, I only got one. I got one and a half water. <sighs> I'm going to go to my kids' room and take one of theirs, okay? They always be having water bottles upstairs, so. But I love you all. Have a great night. Go, 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 go. Go, go.